up readers, today we're going to be doing a Harry Potter sudden death quiz. And if I fail this quiz, then I will have to do a face reveal. Unfortunately for you guys, I am a huge Harry Potter fan. No matter what you say, I'm a bigger fan. Trust me. So, I won't lose that easily. But we'll see. So let's get started. Where was Voldemort born? Obviously, he seems like the guy whose personality comes from a toilet. So maybe he's born under a girl's bathroom. I mean, it makes sense. But no, he was born in an orphanage that he has tried many times to get out of and live in Hogwarts instead. What is Bellatrix Lestrange's maiden name? Obviously, it can't be Malfoy because she doesn't have the hair for it. Can't be Voldemort because she doesn't have the nose for it. Can't be Snape because he doesn't have the personality for it. So it must be Sirius. Poor Sirius, I feel bad for him. He has such a terrible family member. Which word appears on Marietta Edgecombe's face when she tells Umbridge about the DA? Okay, this is brilliant. It's obviously sneak because Hermione was so smart to put a curse on the paper. I mean, it was my favorite part of the book. I couldn't stop laughing. Who are Fenrir Greyback's preferred prey? Obviously, he loves to chase down elderly witches. He gets a big, huge kick out of it, you know, biting elderly witches. But no, sadly, it's children. He is the reason why our dear Remus is a werewolf. So which animal does Umbridge resemble? Obviously, it's a toad. I mean, she looks exactly like one. Every time I read her part in the book, I'm like... Please just kill this character off. I mean, come on. How long can we withstand this torture? But yeah, it's Toad. Who does Barty Crutch Jr. impersonate? Obviously, it's Winky. I mean, who doesn't want to impersonate a house elf? I mean, look at all the cool things you can do. Wash dishes, bang your head into walls, all fun stuff. But yeah, no, he impersonates Mad-Eye Moody to get closer to Harry. Which gift is Peter Pettigrew given by Voldemort? Obviously, he's given a unicorn. You know, Voldemort loves sunshine and rainbows, and obviously he would pass that on to Peter. But no, he was given a silver hand after he cut off his own to bring back Voldemort. What is Girl Grindelwald's motto? This one's easy. It's for the greater good. Obviously, it wouldn't be know thyself because he's in the touchy-feely, hippie kind of soul-searching person. And he's not like Voldemort, who's just like muggles are dirt and pure blood first. So it's for the greater good. The potion that brings Voldemort back to life calls for bone of the father, flesh of the servants, and obviously heart of the lover. That's just the kind of sunshine and rainbow thing Voldemort would need. But no, it's blood of the enemy. Because, you know, it's all about the enemy. And finally, which item does Voldemort require of Lucius Malfoy? Obviously, it's a peacock. He wants one to kill and stuff and put and decorate in his living room. But no, it's a wand. He keeps having a huge tantrum in the books because he doesn't have a wand. So yeah, let's see what I got. And oh, look, I'm a total Potterhead, obviously, because I am obsessed with Harry Potter. But sadly for you guys, we won't be doing this face reveal today. So be sure to like and subscribe and check out the channel next week. Bye!